Good morning, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. They were at property address. 5105 Southeast Steel Street here in Portland. We're located in the basement bathroom. We're going into the backflow valve. Um, there is a four inch cast iron clean out. This is just easier. We're not going to have to go reef on a clean out. Off we go here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Thank you. Just transition there over to cast iron. We're in four inch diameter pipe here. All right, transitioning here now to six inch concrete. We're hitting the main here at 85 feet. We're going to go locate that really quick here while the line drains off, and then we'll pull back in. All right, I got a, a kind of a weak locate signal on the far side of the street. I'm going to pull back um, closer in here, about 30 feet or so, about where the curb would be, and just take another locate. My, for some reason, my foot counter reset there. I bumped my camera a little too hard and it glitched it out. Anyway, I recommend rescoping the line about every two years to keep an eye on it. The line has great slope and grade right now. There is aggregate rock exposed. Um, I don't see any settling issues as it sits right now. The only thing that's kind of struggling to get to the line at the moment is balled up toilet paper, it looks like. Although, you know, you, you're you starting to get kind of a wear line in some of these spots. It, it may not be super obvious to someone who doesn't look at sewer pipes all day long. You're getting some heavier wear about where the edge of the flow line typically resides. 
I don't see any settling issues. I don't see any strong signs here that the, the line has opened up to the ground, but the line is on, it's, it's, it's definitely on the older end. Um, that looks like you might have a crack there running across the top of the pipe. That is not a pipe joint there. It looks like that appears to be a crack there with some moisture seeping through it. So flow, you know, flow through here is quite good. My concern is longevity on this thing. There's a little bit more stuff that's visual or that you can see now that the line's drained out. There's a reasonable amount of aggregate. You've got a crack and there's a couple spots in here where you're getting some extra wear right where the water line, you can see where the aggregate rock meets the extra smooth concrete. The top half of the pipe there is what the concrete used to look like. That's ideally what it does look like. Obviously it's an old line, it wears out. Um, I'm going to locate and see where we are here currently. And you've got a spot there, that joint that's starting to wear too. Um, I'm actually leaning more towards what I hate to see happen is let this thing go for too long and end up with a line opening up to the ground and, and, and resulting in settling or hydro erosion issues that cause the line to settle. Nowadays with the advent of trenchless epoxy liner systems, which in most cases save quite a lot of money, um, it behooves you to get ahead of these things and not wait for the line to just turn to Swiss cheese and open up to the ground. It leads to settling problems and once a line settles too far and gets too far gone, you'll lose the ability to do a trenchless epoxy liner and you're looking at a much more expensive traditional style repair. So, and right now, just see what I'm seeing here as we come back in, just the wear and tear in that flow line. Um, if it's not updated now, I would plan to do so in the, I would not go any longer than five years. I, you know, and I would be re-scoping it every year from now till then to keep an eye on things. Um, it's just getting to that point where stuff is going to start coming home to roost on this thing. So anyway, I'm going to go locate, see where we are here currently. Now you lucked out on this one here, the uh, transition to concrete. I just took that locate there and picked that up just past the street curb. So you have cast iron ABS on property all the way up to the face of the curb. And that's where city responsibility takes over. So it's still worth taking a, taking a look at this thing here and there. Cast iron wears out too like anything else, but it usually does it at a much slower rate than concrete. This stuff too is also epoxy lineable if you ever choose to do so. And this is looking down the road. It's just, if you're gonna be here a while, it's worth keeping an eye on this stuff so you can take advantage of some uh, less expensive and much less invasive repair processes when that day comes. That's a very rare occurrence. Milwaukee is about the only town around here where you'll see cast iron uh, go all the way to the curb on a regular basis. Out in this part of town, it's extremely rare to see that. The cast iron here is held up quite nicely. There's very little wear in the flow line. It's, I mean, this is this is aged better than most cast iron does. We're gonna go ahead and reel the uh, camera out. In fact, what we're gonna do real quick here. We're gonna go backwards for just a second. And that's where we're gonna stop right here. This is where the toilet ties into the line. That's also a uh, two inch drain there for the shower. Nice, clean, spiffy looking pipe going backwards there. No standing water, nothing. The line is graded perfectly. There is zero standing water in the line. It hasn't settled or shifted anywhere. Even the old beat up concrete is, it still functions fairly well. It's just, it's showing its age at this point. Anyway, everything that's on property for the homeowner to be concerned about is all in good condition or in good condition for its age, clean, has good flow, and is functioning properly at this time.